<laughs> Let's go. My name's Dan Giesling. Welcome to the beginning of a dynasty. We're going to take a team that is known very little and bring them to prominence. Maybe not in the first year. Maybe not in the second year. Maybe not in the third year. But we'll get them to prominence. I, to this, we make the vow. What team are we going to use? We're going to find out in just a second. Now, the only thing we're going to change in the dynasty options is we are going to get rid of all the BCS tie-ins, to be honest. Since we're in the modern day playoff system, I don't even remember how the BCS works. I know if you win the Big Ten, you get an automatic slot. But the way this we have it now, hopefully the top 16 teams or whatever get, get into a big time bowl. That way we're not limited by the team we select. Now, rules and difficulty here. We're going to be default level, progressions normal. And uh, we're just, we're just going to roll in. We're going to roll in and do what we do now. We're going to begin our dynasty. There's been a lot of back and forth. What team do we select? One of the major factors in selecting the team, number one was your feedback. Number two, they can't be a big-time program. Number three, have to have some jersey selection. Now, it came really down to two choices. One was was in a big conference in the SEC, and the other is in a conference that I don't even know if it's it's if it's in existence anymore. But as we approach the podium for the first time, we would like to introduce ourselves, allow ourselves to introduce ourselves as the new head coach of the Wyoming Cowboys, a two-star program, has never won nothing. Security is safe. What do they want us to do? We're going to sign a seven-year contract. W what do they want us to do? Program tradition D+. Plus. Target wins per year, six wins. And I've, you know, I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm excited to check this out. Welcome to your coach skill tree. Here you can select upgrades that will benefit you on the field in the recruiting process. You know what they say. It's not about the X's and O's. It's about the Jimmy's and Joe's. So let's let's get an upgrade here at recruiting. Get back into locked out recruiting battles. Must be in the prospects top ten and offer a scholarship, or you have a knack for discovering some of the best high school talent in America. Increased scouting efficiency allows you to uncover 25% of a prospect's true skills. I'll tell you what. If a recruit is going to snub us, let him go. They don't want to be a Wyoming cowboy. <laughs> let him go. We're going to be due diligent recruiters. I'm excited about that. I didn't know that. You know, I, I can't remember the last time I played a dynasty. Maybe been the year before this. But um, we're going to... Would you like to keep the changes? Yes. It's not about the X's and O's. It's about the Jimmy's and Joe's. So if we're going to turn this Wyoming program around, it's not going to, it's not going to be about the play calling. It's not going to be about the, the aggressive defense we're going to run. It's going to be about the players we got and the players we're going to go get. Before you begin recruiting each year, you can create your own prospects. This is your only opportunity to create prospects. Would you like to create prospects? I would like to, but let's keep let's keep it vanilla. I don't want to taint the recruiting pool. You know, we got to go out and get some number one, number one recruiting rule. We got to put up a border. We have to defend the state of Wyoming. I don't know if there's a lot of talent in Wyoming, but we can't be losing any three-star talent out of Wyoming. I'll tell you that right now. All right, what do we got going here? Pipeline states. So let's go ahead see what what does our team need first and foremost we have we need a quarterback we got a number one priority got to go get a quarterback all right well let's go get one then pipeline states pipeline states help you with recruiting players from each state each recruit from the pipeline state will be more interested in your school at the start of the season you must have six players from a state to be considered a pipeline we're pulling heavy out of cali that's cool. All right, so let's go. Let's go find ourselves a quarterback. All right. Quarterback tendency. Scrambler. State. We'll go pipeline state. Has deal breaker. Interest in Wyoming. 
we got to be in the top 10. All right, look, we're not we're not going to go out and convince a five star to come talk to us. We found one quarterback interested in Wyoming. Darren Washington, three star overall, 6'5", 207. Zero percent scouted. Let's go ahead and lock 18 percent. Definitely going to target him. How do we get some more info on him? Can we scout him? Skills. All right, so I think we got to target him first. He wants, is most important, he wants to stay home. So we got an inside track at him. All right, so there's one quarterback interested in Wyoming right now. That's okay. So let's... Uh, Let's see if this opens it up at all. We've got one. Look, we got another quarterback that's inter interested, not part of the pipeline state. He's a two star, David Marshall. 49240. Look, he wants to go to Minnesota, Wyoming, or Iowa State. All right, fair enough. We got, it doesn't mean we got to sign him. All right, so let's go ahead and say, let's get, no, they don't have to have interest in Wyoming, but let's pull one out of our pipeline state here. We got it. We can't go to Hawaii to pull a recruit. We got to start just building little borders. All right. We're building a territory here. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll sort the quarterbacks here. 653 overall. He's got some speed to him. Ernest Miller. We're, let's go ahead and we'll tag uh, This guy wants no interest in us So we got to go create some interest in here Antoine Kelly Let's look for someone who likes smaller schools Robert Griffin target him. I Don't think we're gonna beat out the Buckeyes Elk Grove, Illinois Looking for small schools that we can maybe beat. M Pettit, a 4840. Cornelius Crooks. All right, so we're going to target five quarterbacks. I feel that's pretty good. And he, Antoine Kelly would be the dream. Man, but everyone's locked in on him. We'll go after him. He, that's, that's the dream right there. All right, so we got five targets at... We have six total quarterback targets. We need to sign two. All right. We also need tight end, I believe. So let's go ahead and let's go get ourselves a nice tight end here. We're going to be tracking these guys, all right? Receiving. Oh, tendency. Any. All right. 24 matches. So we'll be able to sort these this time by see who's interested in the program. Ooh, all right. 6'8", 247. He's Brent Summers. Lock him in. All right, no one else is really interested, so let's go by caliber here. And let's see. These are all pipeline states, so let's go ahead and maybe... He has not made any decisions. Let's go get him. It's a two-star Will Carter. Look. Got to make a decision here. Who can we beat out in recruiting? Andrew Robinson. He's a Juco. We'll take him, though. Juco meaning junior college, meaning he's only got two years to play. So I'm looking for we're competing against smaller schools. I don't want to compete, compete against Nebraska yet. We will at some point, though. San Diego State. And... Just looking for some small schools. I think that's good for now. All right, good. So we got some tight ends targeted. And we need a, a middle linebacker. I mean, I'm sure we need a lot here. But let's, let's make sure we fill the needs that we need first. All right. 26 matches found. We got it. We're going to have some interest. Bottom line is if someone's interested in the program, we got to get them. All right, a bunch of one stars are interested. He's the, oh man, that's rough. Drew McLaughlin. 
All right, he's from our home state. We'll, we'll, we'll take a shot at him. Overall, 53. All right, so let's just let's just assume we're gonna sign him now. Now let's get a little uh, I don't know what lock percentage lock means. Meaning they're undecided. All right, so let's go out and get a mid-range guy here. How about Derek Coker? He's got a little bit of Clemson action. Roland Ronald Crowder. So right now I'm just scrolling through, looking at the schools they're interested in, seeing if we can beat any of them. I'm not seeing any. All right, maybe that there's some beatable. Kenny Cummings. He won't consider your school until you meet his deal breaker requirement. Excuse me. You're not going to dictate to us what's going to happen. All right, so we're going to go through. We're going to target free safeties, and then we're going to look at who's interested in the program, and then make sure we, we get some quality signs there. All right, so pipeline, we got to stay in the pipeline states. I, I just feel strongly about that. It, it, that's how you build a program. All right, now let's see who's interested in us. We got no interest. No free safeties want to come play ball. All right, so what do we got here? We got a Juco hard hitter, 50, 65 overall. Let's target these two guys. Curtis Taylor, and then I think we could beat out Boise for a kid, John Johnson, John Battle, 69 overall, and let's go, I like this guy because he's from Citrus Heights, Danny Cowan. All right, good. So we got some targets. Now we got 15 open prospects. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to go any position and have top 10 interest in Wyoming. Let's see how many kids across the nation are interested. 30 match, 30 kids want to come play for coach out of Wyoming. All right. So let's go. A three-star, we got to go get him. Definitely have. What is his story? Maybe the he's the biggest one on the board. Warren Sampson out of Bolingbrook, Illinois. Pierre Johnson, halfback. Go get him. 62 overall. Paul Banks. Corey Prater. So I'm trying to get all the... Anyone that's super interested in us. That Darren Washington's going to be the big one for us. All right, Will Oliver. We need 10 more guys to pick up. Athletes. We could probably use some linemen here too, huh? Look, you can build a program with some three-star recruits. I'll tell you that right now. Let's cover our, our, our back here a little bit. I don't know. Maybe we have to target him before we... Oh, this guy's a burner. We have to target him before we can um, scout him. So we're getting a bunch of one-star recruits, but hey, look. Let's do it this way. Let's, let's sort by caliber. So we don't want to have a class full of all one stars. I'll tell you that. In case you don't know, want the more stars, the better caliber of the player. All right. So we're getting a lot of skill guys here. Barry Lane, Mike Humphrey. We got a lot of, a lot of wideouts targeted here. Let's see if we can maybe, that guy's decent. Got some speed to him. All right. And... Your recruiting board's out too full. So let's go ahead and untarget him. Okay, I like it. So let's take a look at our overall targets and see where we're at here. We have upgrades available, huh? 35 targets, 25 scholarships remaining. What's our recruiting strategy here? Recruiting board assistance, scholarship offer assistance. I don't know. We'll leave that default for now until we learn what the heck's going on here. It's, it's a learning process, all right? It's our first time taking over a Division I program. we got to learn the ins and outs here a little bit. 
All right, what else we got going? All prospects, search, pipeline states, team needs. We have upgrades available. That's interesting to me. Oh, now we can do some scouting here. So we can scout for 50 points. Okay, we have 1,000 points overall. So let's go ahead and scout him. 25% scouted. So he overall, so what we want to do here is we want, we want to try and find some, some diamonds in the rough. So to most people, this guy may be a 55 overall. But to us, ooh, he's not so good, coach. Plus one overall. Stamina's okay. Let's let's see if we can make a player out of this guy. Plus three overall. So this is good. This we can like target guys and not target guys, but Okay. What's this guy? Andrew Robinson. Not as good as we thought. Better than we thought. I wonder if there's a way to, um, oh, we can remove people on here. 58 overall. Unless you're 60, I'm not sure we can get you. Ooh. You're removed, son. Sorry, kid. <laughs> Sorry, kid. 60 is the minimum we can take here. All right, who else we need to scout here? Josh Brooks. Brandon Wallace. He's going to be a goody. He's a goody. Curtis Taylor. Plus one overall. I wish there's a, I wonder if there's a way we could sort him by better than we thought. 61, we could still mess with him a little bit. John Battle. Ooh, 57. Ooh. Yikes. All right, we have 50 points remaining here. Mike Humphrey, I got a good feeling about. All right, so here's my question. Let's take a look at our targets. Are they going to, is it going to reflect that we, we did our scouting here? How do we see the, the big board here? Huh. This is interesting. It's pretty deep. How to improve your, your stuff. All right, so this could be a heavy recruiting episode, clearly. We, we got to get our, our feet wet here a little bit. I'd imagine in the future, in future episodes, we'll, we'll kind of, we'll get this down a little bit. All right, so I think we've spent all our points. Are we ready? We're ready to advance here. I know we could target one more guy, but for now, let's just let's keep it rolling here. I like the fact that we could go out there and, and get some homegrown talent. Recruiting tutorial. All right, well, let's, uh, we're good on recruiting for right now. All right, so let's take a look at, yo, we have a 91 overall. So let's go ahead and who are we going to redshirt here? These guys have already been redshirted. This is our starter. He's head and shoulders above. So we'll, he's going to be, we're going to have a, tr a tr starting freshman quarterback. You know what? Let's, um. So we got a 70 overall and a 60 overall. Let's redshirt the 70. He's going to be maybe the back of the future. So let's redshirt him. So basically, if you don't know what redshirt means, redshirt means they're going to sit out a year. They have a year to get better, but they're not going to use. In college football, you have four years of eligibility plus a redshirt. If you redshirt, you still got your four years. You don't have to redshirt, but I like playing for the future here. We only got two at that position, cannot redshirt. All right, so I look at this and think, who's going to play? He's going to play, he's going to play, he's going to play, he's going to play, he's going to play. Probably not going to play, probably not going to play. So let's redshirt these two. 
And when they're enough, maybe they can get to a 70 next year. Tight end. He's going to play. We can hold him out a year. Left tackle, big time. And everyone else has been redshirted, so we don't have an option there. Left guard. We're okay. We got a good backup there. Both have already been redshirted. Right guard. Redshirt him. We don't need three at that position. Right tackle. Okay, can't redshirt him. Left end. We can redshirt him. I'm okay with that. Right end. Ooh. I tell you what, we got this. The cupboard is not bare here. D tackle. He's gonna play. He's gonna play. He's gonna play. He's gonna get redshirted. So when I make that decision, I look at okay, R. Holt. He's 67 overall. The next guy up, Javari Jackson. He's 66. I'd rather keep him, develop him for a year. Left outside backer. He's gonna be starting. He's too good. Middle backer. They've all been redshirted. I think outside, all right, let's take a look at our secondary. We will redshirt the freshman. All right, so senior free safety. So this guy's starting. There's not much difference between the senior backup. So let's go ahead and redshirt Braden Smith. Strong safety, 91 overall. Let's go ahead and redshirt the freshman. Kicker. 82 overall punter not very good all right so we got our red shirts taken care of here it's, it's all it's, it's part of the process here depth chart i think we're good here i'm not going to do any messing with the depth chart we had a chance to look at that just there and then let's go ahead we're gonna if, if we're gonna take over wyoming we will take on all challengers custom schedule here we want the big boys. Here's what our schedule looks like right now. Open up at Nebraska. At home versus Idaho. FCS Midwest. No, thank you. No, just I have no interest in that. We could put Florida State on the schedule. LSU. Michigan, Michigan State. Notre Dame. Oregon. Texas. Who do we put on the schedule here? I feel like we got to take a shot at Michigan State. Got to play them. You want to get better, you got to play the best here. At Texas State, nah. Give us someone. East Carolina we were going to consider. <coughs> but let's go like mid-range team here. How about Purdue? Uh, no, let's play an SEC team. We'll play Vandy. Week 6 is open. All right, so basically our non-conference is at Nebraska, Idaho, Michigan State, Vandy. That's a strength of schedule, C-. minus. All right, get Idaho out of here then. Let's go like a... Uh... We need to win, though. You know, if this is like, uh, yeah, you want to put Clemson on the schedule, but you also want to win. You know what? Oregon puts us at a C plus strength of schedule. We got 12 games. Um, I like the Nebraska game. I like the Oregon game. Michigan State's going to be tough. We, you know what? We should spread this out. We, we need a week off here after Oregon. Can we get Michigan State this week? Cannot. So you got to think about that. There we go. So Air Force, then Michigan State. All right, I think we're good. Strength the schedule, C+. Plus. We'll take it. All right, schedule set. Custom schedule, start the season. All right, here we go. We're gonna, Here's what's going to happen from here. Recruits are going to go up and down. Who wants to be a part of the program? Do you want to be a Wyoming Cowboy? We got multiple color helmets, gold, brown, white jerseys. We got a brand new Division I head coach. The question is, why wouldn't you want to be a part of this thing on the ground floor? Get in before we're a nationally ranked powerhouse because then we may not recruit you. <laughs> All right, I'm excited to see how this thing shakes out here. Rating teams by playtime. 
I'll tell you what, I'm excited. So I'm excited about a couple things. One, excited about getting some fresh recruits in for next season. Number two, excited to, to play these ball games out, you know? I don't know how we're going to fare against Michigan State. But one game at a time. Right now, our, our sights are set on the, the Nebraska Cornhuskers. And uh, we'll see how it shakes out from here. The producer, the Cowboys are relying on Granderson and the defense to lead them. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're not going to play game one. We'll play our first game tomorrow. But let's see let's see who's interested in here. So let's just kind of like the, call this episode zero here. Minus 775 behind. So let's go ahead. Can we see... So we are going to play some games in the dynasty, just not, today's not the day. We're in a battle. Team needs all positions. All right, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and scout these guys. Corey Smith. Oops, we offered him a scholarship. Oh, uh, maybe you can only, you can't scout right now. Huh. I want to see the big board here. I guess this this is the new big board. So, all right, what do we got here? Can we see team needs? It doesn't say who's interested, right? So let's do this. Let's go to take care of our needs first. Antoine Kelly. Min Max. What the heck is that? All right, so let's do this. We're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna offer some quarterbacks here. He's got us in the third slot, fifth slot, fifth slot. Jeremy Marquart. Oh, these are our needs. Okay, good. All right, sorry, we're dialed here. So Antoine Kelly, let's go ahead and offer him. He's been offered. D Darren Washington, third overall. This could be a good get for us. Scrambler. Robert Griffin, sixth slot. We'll offer him. All right, so we offer three QBs. We got a, we got a lot of ground to make up here with, with John Battle here. We're in the sixth slot. Danny Cowan. What is he overall? Doesn't see. He's a three-star overall. Cornelius Cooks. Crooks, we'll, we'll give him a shot. So basically, we're going we're gonna to offer everyone on our team needs. I mean, we're offering a lot of quarterbacks. What if they all decide to sign? 49 overall. I thought we said we're not offering anyone under 50. He's from, from Wyoming, so you got to give him a shot, coach. Utah State is in the lead, and Jeremy Marquardt. So what do we do with all these extra points is my question. Scouting. Okay, I get it now. So these guys have not been scouted yet. Fair enough. Corey Smith. <coughs> Let's go ahead and scout the rest of these guys. He's better than we thought. Pierre Johnson, but what's his deal? It's not giving us an overall boost here, but oh, I see. But when you scout him, it gives him a little extra love overall. Okay, so Will Oliver's a little bit better than we thought. Nathan Williams. Okay, Lamar Ford. Whoa. What's his story? We need to go get him. What's top schools? We're in the lead. Has not expressed interest. We got to get him more interested here. Oh, he's a Juco. All right, that's all right. Barry Lane. 
We got to do, you know what? We shouldn't be offering kids until we go scout them. Go see them play a little bit. That That's my take on it, right? Because we could be trying to go after a kid that's not a Wyoming Cowboy type player. Brock Malone, a 44 overall. <sighs> All right, 52 overall, Jeremy Marquardt. All right, so now everyone's on the big board scouted. These guys have not been offered. Let's, let's see what... We're in the lead for him. Get my man an offer. All right. Yeah, I like him. Give him an offer. We're in the lead. Give him an offer. Brent Summers, we're in the lead. Get him an offer. If you want to come be a cowboy, you get an offer. Mike Humphreys. Yikes. We're being realistic here, though, with the kids we're going to offer. I wonder if there's a way to kind of auto-do this. Nick Hunter, eh, maybe we'll offer you late, kid. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't know what to do with all these extra points here. We don't want to be chucking around offers, right? Weekly bonus points. Bonus points are awarded automatically to a prospect's score each week on top of any points you assign. Oh. You know what? Let's just... We got a couple more scallies to offer, but for now, we're going to hang on to the rest of them. I think that seems fair. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling this thing out. Also getting a feel for what you guys want to see. I'm going to guess that episode zero, we'll call it like the, the setting, the foundation. But we'll play it. We'll definitely do a um, coach skill trees. And this is pretty deep. Did you guys know this was this deep? Oh, we can upgrade one of these guys. Recharge. Pass rush. We'll go uh, road closed. Stay healthy. You stress the importance of protecting the football. That's big time. That's cool. I like those. So I want to do stuff to kind of keep it moving here a little bit. So I don't know how much time we'll spend on recruiting in the future. But I think it's, it's drastically important. It's super important. But however... We will spend time with our coordinators, make sure they're dialed in. Coach XP goals. All right, so this is just one coach of the year. Win 100% versus our rivals. Who's Wyoming's rival, Idaho? Coach contracts. All right, so this is all, we're, we're good here. ESPN, we don't need to worry about that. I think we're good to go. I'm excited to play our first game at Nebraska. This was like a, a little bit of um, a setup episode, you know? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, how you want to handle recruiting, especially if you got some, some experience in this. I want to keep it moving. I'd love to do a little recruiting and then play our game so you guys at least know to expect one game per episode but the, call this one the setup thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys are excited to watch some wyoming football we'll see how the series go goes and i'll see you guys next time hit the like button hit that like 